Women in India are using cow masks to illustrate how Indian laws favor cow protections over their female human constituents. Now you can see some of the pictures of women in these cow masks here. Um, there's a few of them around the country in different places. Now, obviously, India has seen a rise in cow protection laws with long sentences and harsh punishments. Punishments and Sujatra Ghosh, who is an artist from Kolkata, India, said that he started this project and it was inspired by his own questions about why the same feverish approach to codifying protections for cows wasn't extended to women in the country. Now, in India, harming a cow can yield a swift and harsh prison sentence of nearly 10 years or even inspire vigilante justice, but survivors, victims of rape can wait months before they see results from reporting their assaults. Now, in 2015, India's National Crime Records Bureau reported that there were at least 34,000 cases of rape reported around the country. And in fact, conviction for these rates against women is about only 21%, and that is a statistic from 2014. So some of these laws protecting cows obviously come from the Hindu religion. And we obviously know as well that there have been increased rape allegations and instances of rape of women in India. And a lot of the times the police, when women talk about their sexual assault, won't report that that women are coming there, they won't believe the women. So obviously the number that I mentioned before, 34,000 is probably an underestimate and underreporting. But also there's a huge stigma around sexual assault in India. So it's further an underestimate. And still these cows are being protected more than their women, which is- It's a great argument, it's a great rhetorical argument. Well executed by the Instagram art that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. It's like you're you're protecting a cow more than you're protecting me. And I'm not against protecting cows, I'm all for protecting women just as much. And when you say that it's underreported, if not more. Um, right. But it, but it's underreported. There was right. a, Reuters reported that um, in uh, metropolitan areas like Delhi, one in thirteen, according to a survey they did, uh, one in thirteen sexual assaults is reported mm-hmm. in Delhi. Wow. And, and sexual then, harassment is the third most yeah. uh, common crime in Delhi, uh, New Delhi, and Mumbai. And they said by comparison, one in three uh, phone robberies is reported, as opposed to one in thirteen uh, sexual assaults. And then in Mumbai, it's one in nine. Report are reported. It's tough, but they they have taken certain steps in India. Um, it's apparently they passed a law saying in 2017 that all phones have to have a panic button, mm-hmm. and then in 2018 it will have to be linked to GPS in order to, you know, show people where uh, they are. Yeah, and they're trying they're trying to pass uh, different laws that make cops more accountable when women do report these uh, sexual assaults. But they're still obviously in the process of it. But I like how this artist is sort of drawing attention to the fact that there is sort of this disparity between how the country treats its constituents. Yeah, so in the beginning I thought, well, that's a curious contrast and I get it. But I kind of felt bad for picking on the law on cow protection, right? I guess the cows should be protected, I thought. But it turns out I'm actually wrong about that because the more I read into it, the more I realized, oh, this isn't just that, hey, we're Hindus and we wanna protect cows and isn't that lovely. Uh, it's actually sometimes selectively enforced against Muslims mm-hmm. in India. So, uh, and, the, and the point the point I always make about religion is, you practice your religion, uh, I don't, <laughs> okay? You should have the freedom to practice it, but you should not force other people to practice your religion because they're not in your religion. So. If you're in, if you're Hindu, great. Don't eat cows, and you know, love them and pet them and do whatever else you like to do with them. And the animals are innocent, okay? Uh, but if Muslims or Jews or Christians want to eat delicious hamburgers, <laughs> leave them alone, right? So that law by itself, even though it sounds great, mm-hmm. is wasn't that good to begin with. And and then when you do the contrast, and of course that's the whole point of the art. Jesus, we're not even sorry. Ganesh, we're not even or whatever. <laughs> we're not even protecting women as much as we're protecting cows. Then it's then it's particularly uh, troublesome. So great art because great art makes you think, and mm-hmm. and it's got the whole country thinking. You don't like ads? I hear you, brother. 
You know how you can avoid ads for the Young Turks? Become a Young Turks member and get all the content ad free. TYTnetwork.com slash join.